this is not the right way to add your fractions okay hey some ninjas rose here this is the school of mathematics nigeria so today we'll be discussing algebraic fraction we've discussed algebraic expression algebraic equation algebra to be precise and we have a video and link here so you can catch up algebra and mathematics just basically talks about numbers and letters so now we're doing fraction fraction is a case where you have the numerator and the denominator just like you see here numerical fraction is represented as such so you have five all over eight which can also be written as this five divided by eight or five slash eight however this is written it all means the same thing it is called a fraction so we're going to be learning how to add how to add and subtract fractions and of course in the next class we'll learn how to multiply and divide fractions algebraic fractions in a case where we have numbers or numbers and letters or just letters let's get into it so given a case like this you have your numerator and denominator added to a numerator and a denominator what you want to take note of first is your denominator what are the denominators in this case five and seven please take note people always do the four plus three seven over five plus seven twelve which is not correct this is not the right way to add your fractions okay so how do we go about this it's very important that you learn lcm and hcf i don't think we've ever treated that on this channel we'll probably do that next so you can be on track with us so for your denominator what is the lcm of five and seven the lowest common multiple of five and seven the lowest is 35 because five is a prime number seven is a prime number so just multiply it right nothing can go in them except themselves and one so now that you have your lcm right you would now say how many times can 5 go in 35? 7 times. 7 times 4. 28. You move to the next one. How many times can 7 go in 35? Or 35 divided by 7? 5. 5 times your numerator. 15. The more you solve, the more you get it. Don't, don't worry. Don't panic. We'll do more examples. Okay? So 28 plus 15 is what? 28 plus 15 is 43 over 35. Now, people who see this would know that this is an improper fraction. If you have an objective question and you have this as an option, you can pick this. But if you don't have an objective question, please change this improper fraction to a mixed fraction or your decimal. So how many times can 35 go in 43? Of course, one time, right? Remainder. 43 minus 35 is what? 8 all over 35. Okay, so you can either change it. This is called a mixed fraction, a case where you have a whole number with an improper fraction. It gives you a mixed fraction, right? So you can either have this or the decimal form. So decimal place is 1.23, right? So you can either have this or this as your answer and this ladies and gentlemen is how you add fractions let's do another one so in a case like this you have letters right you have to add these letters up i've told you don't say a plus c over b plus d this is not correct okay instead what do we do focus on your denominator like we first said right your denominator you have b and d so you multiply b d right so the first one b in bd of course b will go you're left with d so d times a is a d plus moving to the next fraction d in this this will cancel this so you're left with b b times c b c right and then you can just stop here because nothing is common in your numerator so this is your answer okay let's have more examples let's say we have a case like this of course the first things first denominators you have b d square and a so this is these are just letters you can't find their lcm technically but you know that the lcm of this is its multiplication which is b d square a 
right you can rearrange it if you want to so a b d square however you want it so this and this it will cancel this we're left with just this two b cancels b we're left with just this so multiply it to the denominator you have a square d square because you know a times a is a squared right moving on to the next one this denominator in this you're left with b a multiplied by this a b c i'm just rearranging it a b c okay you see how it's done your denominator how many times can your denominator go in this denominator or your lcm when you cancel it what is left multiplied with your numerator you're left with b d q because this square times this is dq so this is the answer to this question i hope you're getting it in this case what is the first thing we said we said you find your lcm and in this case of course you know it's multiplying these two things which is x plus one x plus two okay after you're done with this you ask yourself how many times the first fractions denominator can go here this cancels this of course they look alike you're left with this so this times the numerator is two plus okay moving to the next fraction this cancels this right so you're left with what you're left with this times the numerator so now that we are here we learned from our previous class how to open brackets right two multiplies the whole thing plus four multiplies this whole thing so let's go two times x is two x two times two is four 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 1 is 4, right, 4 times 1 is 4, and you're left with your denominator. You can expand your denominator or leave it like this, whichever one works for you, right? So collecting like terms, these two looks alike, so 2x plus 4x, 6x, 4 plus 4, 8, all over x plus 1, x plus 2. Some people can tell, let's go backwards a bit. Some people can tell that something is common in the numerator, right? You could leave your answer like this, okay? Or you could say 2 is common here, so 2 is common. We're left with 3x plus 4, okay? And then you have your denominator. So whichever one works for you, actually, it's... Either this or this. If it's an objective question, take note of the one that you see there and then you pick. But if you can further simplify, it's always advisable to further simplify. Now let's give you yours to do. So I hope you're able to understand what we've done thus far, adding and subtracting um, the algebraic fraction. If you need or have more questions, leave it in the comment section and make sure to attempt this too so you can tell yourself or keep track of your pace okay so as always don't forget to like subscribe share and check for other links in our description box so you could follow us on other platforms if you may and definitely ask questions as much as you can it's good to have you here until next class Bye.